What's up, Dance Spirit? Um, oh no, that's no? not the wrong idea. No? Oh, yes. huh? Nope. Not Dance Spirit. What's up, guys? Uh, this is Lexi Shimoto. And Taylor C. And we're both 19 years old, and Dance Spirit hit us up to uh, kind of give you the inside scoop of both of us. Um, uh, sort of like a Q&A. Um, so we're just going to run it down for you. Um, first, the questions from Dance Spirit. And then uh, we picked some fan uh, questions to answer for you guys to see what goes inside our lives uh, during the tour or maybe before and afterwards. Yeah, so Here we let's go. get to it. The first one was, Taylor, what is your favorite dance move that Lex does? Um, he does this really f funny, like, tornado type thing with his body. <laughs> and it cracks me up when he does it. Um, you can see that right now. Grips on your ways, front way, back way. You know that I don't play. Streets not. Lex, what is your favorite dance move that I do? Wait, so it doesn't have to be serious? <laughs> oh, okay, well, that, for me, it's a serious dance move. Okay, yeah, I want the um, non serious route. But... Um, Taylor does this, like, I don't even know. It's called, like, a like a bent tilt, like, like spinny thing that I saw, like, way before the show, and I was just like, what in the heck is that? Trying to do it, busting my butt. <laughs> yeah, but here it is. What was your favorite dance to perform together on So You Think? Um, I would say my hip hop duo was really fun to perform. Uh, Bodak Yellow, because I just I'd never done any hip hop like that before, so it was really fun. <laughs> what? It's favorite duet together. <laughs> I was not in the Bodak Yellow, so... <laughs> but for me, I'd have to say my favorite group dance um, is actually kind of like a like an inside joke for both of us, but it was uh, in Mi Gente. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when we had to move the walls, um, when the All-Stars, uh, when most of the All-Stars were dancing and stuff like that, the moving walls were actually the top four. Um, <laughs> and me and Taylor were just like... Just joking around and stuff like that during the thing, and I felt like that was really a moment that I would never forget. For sure. <laughs> that was fun. We had a whole routine back then. Yeah, we really did have a whole routine. Um, I would say I was pretty nervous to dance with you for the first time, but um, our birdcage routine was really fun. Uh, to perform, mm -hmm. I would say the process leading up to it was hard. But um, once we finally like got on stage, it was really fun. What is your favorite movie of all time? Um, one of my favorite movies is called Get Smart. It's really funny. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my favorite movie of all time is Inception. Inception is classic favorite. Um, I I don't I can't like seem to. There's lots of movies that's great, but there's nothing like classic and. Timeless is that. I think that's always going to be a good movie, like, whenever you see it. It's a good one. Yeah. What is your favorite performance memory? My favorite performance memory was definitely... I'd have to say, like, being able to dance with, like, Gabby um, on stage. Um, of course, like, sharing the stage with her is amazing. Um, but just having, like, that inner, like, different energy, um, definitely for me. Each week was different, and knowing that I had a partner that like I could rely on, and being able to like, like actually physically, be confident enough to like share the stage with like, that was Gabby herself. Um, I would say probably my first duet on the show, uh, changes everything, with Robert, because that was just like the first time we got to, really perform on the show like as a duet and. Yeah, it was it was just really special. So and she roasted all of us, all of the contestants. <laughs> no. Yep, she made her mark there. So oh. my bad. Oh. If you could be something other than a dancer, what would you be? What would you be, babe? I would like to be an actress or in like the film industry, like working behind the scenes. After being on the show, it was really cool to see. Um, 
you know, how everything goes down, and it was it was really interesting. You? Uh, what was the question? I forgot. <laughs> ah. Um, I, I want to be a couple of different things, which I already do as like maybe like side projects slash hobbies slash things I like to do other than that, which is the question. But um, I want to be either a cook, um, a designer, um, musician, which I guess dance is musician, but musician of some sort other than dance. Um, but other than that, I don't uh, either like a cinematographer or a photographer, I guess, mm -hmm. for now in that general area. Best date we've been on together. Best date we've been on together. I'd say I surprised her. Um, this one was good. I surprised her a trip to Disneyland. Um, I knew for a while that she's never been to Disneyland. Um, so I was just like, hell of it. Let's take her to Disneyland. Um, surprised her. I um, had no idea. But yeah, it was a lot of fun for me. Yeah. Oh, this one's good. What's your favorite dessert? Tiramisu. Tiramisu. Absolutely. I'd have to say tiramisu or a panna cotta. If or you, a raspberry sorbet. Or a raspberry. But raspberry sorbet is like, like general. Okay. But tiramisu is very specific. Panna cotta is a very specific one. And if you don't know what a panna cotta is, go search it. It's amazing. Um. Well, I'm going to hit you with a real general dessert, but just ice cream. Ice cream. It can't go wrong. How do you like to spend your days off? Days off, um, well, especially during the tour, we like to, we, we generally like to just sleep in. Um, but for me, like whenever in a new city, I like to go shopping, I like to see the area, uh, maybe like throw in a couple movies, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, just normal things that people do. Yeah, um, Yeah, but mainly just like rest up and because the show days are, are long and grueling. All right. Cool. So that was the, the dance spirit portion. Um, and we decided that um, since we're, we have a Q&A like, type of situation right now, why not go full out? Um, we asked some of you guys to, um, to just put in like, some input um, on what you guys want to know about us. If you have any questions, and we'll pick some random ones. And here they are. Yeah. Uh, question. Right or left-handed? Yeah, right. we're both right-handed. <laughs> uh, do you write ways to what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Try do, you <laughs> do, do you write notes to each other? Oh, yeah, I'm a dumbass. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Did you start dating before? Okay, here it is. Here it is. All right, so this is Drum probably roll. like the most questioned thing about us like even during the live shows and possibly after more so after the tour yeah. did we start dating during the show the answer is no, no. <laughs> we started dating way before the uh the show even started even um, before auditions yeah, absolutely and some things that that you guys don't really know about um and some of you guys still don't know apparently which is okay which is okay but yeah we started dating way before the show even started, um, and way before the auditions. Um, we met a year ago, or two years ago basically mm -hmm. now. Um, but yeah, we started dating around February 14th, which is Valentine's Day. <laughs> and going strong. Mm -hmm. Bam. There you have it. What studio did you grow up dancing at? I grew up dancing at Larkin Dance Studio in Minnesota. And I grew up dancing with West Coast School of the Arts in Costa Mesa, California. How was your So You Think You Can Dance journey? It was hard, but it was a really good experience. I think it was better um, in a sense of like finding who I was as a person and um, finding something different in my dancing, not just like trying to be perfect or perfect like technique or choreography um really trying to find an intention uh throughout like everything i did and um brought me close to a lot of a lot of different people which is really cool absolutely um for me i feel like during the live shows um or especially just the silly thing in dance journey itself i learned more so about myself as a person rather than a mm -hmm. dancer um i feel like on the show there's lots of dancing involved of course but um there's more so like soul searching like who you are as a person 
and what you want to portray to the audience, which is you guys. Um, it's really important because we are on, we are on live television, so it's important to like be able to speak our thoughts to you guys in order to show who we who we really are, and also um, us as dancers. Like we're basically ambassadors of dance during the live shows um, because we get to show our voices through dancers and non-dancers. So yeah, that was really important for me. Um, favorite cities on tour? Uh, for me, I'd say I've been to lots of I've been touring for a while now. Um, but still, New Orleans is a f place that I would always go to and not get bored of. And like everything about there is awesome. Um, I would say Boston was really cool for me. Um, I'd never been before, so we basically just walked the entire city, which was awesome. And then New Orleans was really fun. Yeah. Uh, I guess we're... Yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> <laughs> advice for people you inspire um i don't know if i inspire anyone um but we'll see uh advice yes i'd say um whatever you want to pursue whether it be dance related or anything related um i'd say just go full force with what you want you know because um i feel like we all have dreams um but we all have our separate ways to do, to conquer or to accomplish or achieve that goal of ours. Um, and I feel like we don't necessarily have to have someone teach us the way or else as artists, that's what we're supposed to do. We're tr we need to find different ways to do it. So I feel like just keep cultivating and, and one day you might be inspiring other people as well. I would say if you really want something in life, um, no one's ever gonna hand it to you. You have to always work hard and, you know, do your best, put all your energy if it's something you really want in life or something you want to pursue. And also, don't be afraid to put yourself out there and be confident in yourself. Something I struggle with all the time. And, yeah, just be yourself. Don't be afraid to, or don't try and be anyone else or be something else. Just be you. There you have it. There's our Q&A for right yeah. now. Um, let us know if you like it or not. Um, possibly there might be a part two. Um, most likely not. Um, <laughs> but we'll see. I'm Lexi Shimoto. You can find me on Instagram at Lex underscore Shimoto. I'm Taylor Sieve, and you can find me on Instagram at Sieve Taylor. Bam. Uh, that's our social media links. Let us know if you like any of what we just shared. Um, and yeah, stay humble, stay legendary. And... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>